assuming that's some sort of mountain. Governor Tate, it's almost 420. Governor Reeves, it's about that time. For those of you who missed the last live feed, yes. We will be rolling up some joints out of this beautiful quarter pound of hemp in front of the governor's mansion. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is JB, Jonathan Brown. I'm from right here in the great state of Mississippi, born and raised in Hattiesburg, and I'm here up in Jackson today in front of the governor's mansion uh, because we seem to have an impasse on our hands. It seems to be that the governor does not want to call a special session for whatever reason. He said he would, and we have hoped he would, and uh, at, so far he has not. Uh, the reason we're here today is to talk about medical cannabis. Medical cannabis was voted on by the patients and the voters of Mississippi back in November of 2020. And up until this point, we still have not had any medical cannabis delivered to these patients. Uh, but I want to step back a little bit to a few years ago when we started collecting signatures for this ballot initiative. Back in 2018, uh, over 500 volunteers and signature gatherers from across the state of Mississippi uh, traversed this state and talked to voters uh, from every corner every nook and cranny of the state of Mississippi and gather signatures for medical cannabis. Now, uh, this was voted on in November of 2020 and overwhelmingly the people of Mississippi agreed that medical cannabis was good policy for the patients and good policy for the citizens of Mississippi. And yet, a lawsuit that was levied by the mayor of Madison, Mississippi threatened to throw the whole thing out of whack. And indeed, this past spring, Supreme Court of Mississippi threw out not only the medical marijuana provision that was voted on and enshrined in our Constitution, but they threw out the entire ballot initiative process uh, while they were at it. So now Mississippians don't even have the possibility to pass another medical cannabis ballot initiative. But that's where the legislature sl stepped in. And over the past few months, uh, they've been working with activists from across the state. They've been working with people in the industry, with doctors. And they put together a piece of legislation that should um, meet the needs of all Mississippi cannabis patients. And the only thing holding up this entire process at this point is Governor Tate Reeves. Now, Governor Tate Reeves, at any moment, even during while we're filming this video, could call a special session of the legislature, bring these folks together, and go ahead and pass a medical cannabis law. But there is a hiccup on the front page of this bill. Now, this bill is 277 pages, but the only page that we're really talking about today is this front page right here, where it talks about the medical, Mississippi Medical Cannabis Equivalency Unit. Now, Governor Reeves wants to reduce the size of these units and thereby reduce the amount of medical cannabis that a patient could use each month, each week, or each day. And we brought with us some 100% legal in every U.S. state, CBD-rich hemp, grown right here in the state of Mississippi in Lincoln County by Seduja LLC, one of the best hemp farms in the state. Now this cannabis is low in THC, well below the legal threshold to be considered hemp. Um, in fact, it's high in CBD, and CBD is one of the cannabinoids that can help medical patients. But in order to facilitate a visual understanding of what it means to, uh, to a patient, on the patient level, I've brought, this represents a month's worth of cannabis for each medical patient. Um, but what the governor is proposing, the governor wants to take approximately one quarter of this month's worth supply out of the jar. He wants to take it away from Mississippi patients. And we think that's unacceptable. So I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball this. Forgive me, I'm a, I am estimating here, but let's just say that this represents about a month's supply of cannabis for medical patients in the Mississippi. Now remember, this is just hemp. There's no THC in it, but it's a good visual representation of what we're talking about. Now for each day of use, you're going to get about four grams out of that. That's 28 grams per week, or eight medical Mississippi medical cannabis equivalency units. And what the governor is proposing is that we take about one gram per day. And let's say that's represented by a bud about this size. 
The governor wants to take one gram of medical cannabis out of the daily patient supply for each patient each day of the month. And now that may not seem like a lot to you, but it's a lot for patients who are dealing with debilitating medical conditions that could be alleviated through the use of medical cannabis. And so there are a lot of things that you can do with this raw plant material. It's a good thing that it's a part of this provision. In fact, we're really glad that the bill itself includes medical cannabis in the raw plant form. But what's really important is that the patient gets access to their needs. And so uh, what we're showing here today is what most patients would normally do with medical cannabis. And that is grind it up and put it into a joint or a cannabis cigarette. Now again, this is CBD, not THC. And it's raw hemp in its raw form, but this is just to give you a visual representation of what we're talking about. Now this piddling amount of plant material is the only thing standing in the way of this legislation being passed. The governor keeps sending this bill back, and the only thing we're talking about here is about one gram or one cannabis joint's worth of cannabis. And it just seems ridiculous to me, given how far we've come, where we've come from on this issue, that we can't simply get together, convene the legislature, and put cannabis back into the hands of Mississippi patients. You know, we had it in our Constitution before, but the Supreme Court threw it out. Now we're counting on the governor to go ahead and put it back on the table. And as you can see, we're dealing with some wind. We've also had some visits from some uh, friendly law enforcement officials who've uh, now gone on their way. But, um, <laughs> so forgive me if my hands are a little shaky during this demonstration, but it goes to show that each patient should be afforded what they need based on what their doctor recommends. And the thing is, each patient is different. Every patient has a different setup within their endocannabinoid system. Uh, each patient is dealing with different ailments that could be alleviated through the use of medical cannabis. And yet, the governor wants to hold up this entire bill process over about 0.7 to 1 grams of cannabis. And that's the difference in these Mississippi medical cannabis equivalency units. Now, this doesn't seem like a whole lot, and it shouldn't seem like a whole lot, but if this is all that's standing in the way for getting medical patients in Mississippi the cannabis that they need, well, then that's just frankly ridiculous. So, I hope you remember today that we're not just out here to uh, pull a stunt or make a point. Uh, we are out here trying to represent the patients of the state of Mississippi. And so, if you think that it's worth it to hold up this entire program off of one cannabis joint, one gram worth of marijuana in a medical format that can help patients across the state, well then I guess you agree with the governor, but I think that's ridiculous. I think that we need the governor to go ahead and call this special session today, sooner rather than later. And the thing is, we're already a day late on this. Mr. Governor, don't sell us a gram short. Thanks for your time. Guys, happy to report that cops did show up to the scene. Um, yeah, look at they they allowed uh, us to uh, exercise our constitutional rights. So absolutely allowed us to continue man. to exercise our constitutional rights. And it's about time that Governor Reeves does the same thing and respects the constitutional rights of his constituents. Uh, this weekend's going to be pretty lit. Like, legit, I want a barbecue out here. I'm not playing it block party style. So make sure you go to platoon 420 backslash occupy. Get all the information. If you can help from home, you can uh, sign up there. Or if you want boots on the ground, you guys, we have lodging for people. We need everybody out here in the national cannabis community to come stand in support of Mississippi. And we are the 74. Remember, past joints, not judgment. We are all in this together.